Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this system of equations? From here, let's label this as equation 1 and uh, here as equation 2. From equation 1, let's write that as 2 raised to power 2, then raised to power x, then minus 2 raised to power 2 also, then raised to power y equals to 48. And from here, we can also write this again and uh, interchange this power since they multiply and that will be 2 raised to the power x then raised to the power 2 minus here we have 2 raised to the power y then raised to the power 2 which is equal to 48 let's call this equation 3 then also from equation 2 we can write this again applying the law of indices and when we separate it this becomes 2 raised to the power x multiply by 2 raised to the power y so it's another way of writing this which is equals to 32 and from here we label this as equation 4 now from these two equations 3 and 4 now we have 2 raised to the power x and 2 raised to the power y so we can say let a be equals to 2 raised to the power x and let b be equals to 2 raised to the power y so that we write those two equations again in terms of a and b and equation 3 becomes a square minus b square equals to 48 also equation 4 becomes a times b that's ab equals to 32 and uh, also from here now we can apply the difference of two square from a square minus b square and that can be written as a plus b multiplied by a minus b then this is equal to 48 then when we square both sides of this equation from here we square this side everything on this side square then we square this side as well so the expansion here will give us a plus b squared then multiply by a minus b squared which is equals to 48 squared and uh, from here the square here when we expand this this give us a square plus 2ab plus b square and uh, the second bracket as well we have the expansion give us a square minus 2ab plus b square which is equal to 48 square from here then in the next step we reduce this to let's bring the squares together from here and this becomes a square plus b square then plus 2ab then we have here as well a square plus b square then minus 2ab equals to 48 square and from here we group this as together a square plus b square also a square plus b square together and from here we can see that here we have like we have difference of two square again now which we can say that a square plus b square all square minus 2ab all square so the application here that is give us this expansion then equals to 48 square and then from here we have a b to be equals to 32 so we have a b is equals to 32 so let's substitute a b here now and this will become a square plus b square all square then minus 2 then 32 square equals to 48 square and from here we can write this again and this will become a square plus b square all square then equals to 48 squared plus 2 times 32 that gives us 64 square and from here we have this becomes a square plus b square then all square will be equal to 6400 from here and then 
we can take the square root on both sides so as to remove this square here. So square cancel square root here. Then this gives us a square plus b squared b equals to plus or minus 80. And uh, here, a square plus b square will not be positive. I mean, sorry, will not be negative from here. So we only deal with the positive side. So we can say, say that a square plus b square is now equal to 80. Then in the next step, we have a plus b square from this identity. This gives us a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now from here, let's substitute a square plus b square. And that's 80. Then we have a plus b square will then be 80 then plus 2ab ab there is 32 that's 2 multiplied by 32 then therefore here we say 2 times 32 give us 64 then plus 80 we have 144 then we can say a plus b square will be equal to 144 from here then also square root both sides from here the square root on this side will be a plus b because square we cancel square root here then we have equals to plus or minus 12 from here also we should note that a plus b cannot be negative the reason being that we have we represented a as 2 raised to power x and we represented y i mean we represented b rather as 2 raised to power y so these two numbers is expected to be greater than zero so therefore a plus b cannot be you know negative so from here we can say that a plus b now is equal to 12 so then we need to get a minus b in order to solve with this and then we get the value of a and b now we know from this identity that a plus b square minus a minus b squared this will give us 4ab now from here we already know a plus b to be 12 so this will be 12 square minus a minus b squared equals to 4ab 4ab is 34 32 that's 4 then 32 and from here 12 square give us 144 then minus a minus b squared equals to 4 times 32 we have 128 and here let's take 128 then take minus into bracket a minus b square to that side so we have 144 minus 128 equals to a minus b all squared then the same thing as writing you know we can write the right hand side first then we have a minus b squared when we subtract here we have 16 and also take the square root on both sides so that square cancel square root here we have a minus b now b equals to plus or minus 4 we should also understand from here that a minus b will also be positive so we have a minus b here we then be equals to 4 now from here we solve this together with a plus b which is equal to 12 earlier so a plus b is 12 now when we solve this system of equation then we had together to eliminate b so a plus a that's 2a equals to 4 plus 12 give us 16 there then by the time we divide both sides by 2 from here we have a we give us 8 so and also we can get the value of b from here when we substitute a equals to a in any of the equation here we can substitute that in equation 2 here so from here a is it when we take it here that means b will be equals to 12 minus 8 that means b from there is equals to 4 so we have a to be 8 and b to be 4 then don't forget we represented here as 2 raised to power x then we can say this is 8 then also change a to base 2 then this become 2 raised to power x equals to 2 raised to power 3 then from here the base are equal we say x here equals to 3 same thing here b is represented as 2 raised to power y then we have 2 raised to power y equals to 4 
Then also we can change 4 to base 2 and 2 raised to the power 1 will be equal to 2 raised to the power 2. And from there we have y here to be equal to 2. Therefore, the solution to this problem we have x equals to 3 and y equals to 2. We can also check, you know, by substituting into the original equation to confirm if this satisfies the problem. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next class and bye for now.